Hello there geographers and welcome to the Mr. Sin channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about migration. We're going to be focusing on a particular aspect though. We're going to be talking about what happens when cultures collide. We know that people move through relocation to fusion. So what happens when a new culture comes into contact with an old culture? So like I said in the intro, my name's Mr. Sin, and if you're new to this channel, welcome. This video is going to be focusing on what happens after migration. What happens when these cultures interact? If you need more information on any other content with human geography, please consider subscribing and checking out some of my other videos. Also, don't forget to hit a like on the video as well, which helps just promote the video and spreads the message and hopefully helps more people understand this content. Because that's what this whole thing's about, helping you guys understand everything. Now, we are talking about migration and we're talking about cultures and how they interact. One of the things that we could look at is actually some models. We can look at Barry's acculturation model. This looked at what happened when we saw a new culture come in contact with an old culture. You can see the model right here. Here we can see we have four different outcomes that might happen. And they have a variety of integration that occurs within each of these. Now the first part of this model is assimilation. This is the top left box. And this is really important for you to understand. This is going to come up throughout the entire course. Assimilation is when we have someone coming into a new society. And what they're going to do is they're going to forget their old society. They're going to completely adapt and become whatever society they just joined. So for example, if someone migrates from Mexico to the United States, if they go through assimilation, they're going to forget all of their past culture, history. They're going to focus solely on just becoming an American citizen. They're going to focus on speaking English, on doing American traditions, on eating American food, and they're going to lose their old heritage that originally they had. And that is assimilation. You can see on the chart here, we have the transition. We go from the original ideology, this original culture, and just completely become the one that they moved into. So you're dropping all of your old heritage, culture, ideas, everything. You're becoming just that culture you just joined and leaving behind your old one. Now, that's not the only thing that could happen though. We also have integration. This is also known as acculturation. Now, acculturation is important to understand as well. You're gonna hear this term all the time as well. You can see here on the top right box, we have this integration acculturation happening where our culture that is coming into society is not losing their old identity. In fact, they're merging it with the new identity that they are joining, the new culture they are joining. And it's kind of becoming a mix. So they're keeping some of their traditions, maybe they're keeping their language, religion, different things from their old society, but also adopting and adapting some of the new culture that they are experiencing where they just moved to. And the country or society that they just came to is also benefiting from the old culture that this person came with, that they migrated in with. So there's kind of a hybrid approach happening here. Now we're seeing an integration. They are no longer just their own identity, they are a mix. We can also see though in this model on the bottom left, we have marginalization where we have this old culture comes into the new society and it gets rejected by the society and they also start to reject their previous culture. And we start to see some confusion and possible frustrations and also identity issues within our migrant. And then the last one we have, which is in our bottom right corner, is separation, where we start to see a rejection from the new society that this person just came into, but they're also not gonna reject their old society. This could be in the form of maybe a segregated neighborhood where a migrant comes in, they don't want to adopt to any of the new society. They're going to find people that migrated with them or people from their home and just live in that community and essentially try to pretend like they never left, but they're in a different area. So these are four possibilities that we have when cultures collide. But that's not the only thing that can occur. Another thing that could happen is syncretism. Now this gets used a lot with language, with religion in particular. But this is when we have two different cultures or ideas or people that come together and they're gonna form an entire new identity. So if we had two religions that came together and they might form a third religion, which might have aspects of both or two languages could form a new language, or two cultures forming a new culture with 
aspects of both of the old cultures. Now this is different than acculturation because it's not just an integration here. We're actually seeing an entire new identity, culture, religion, language, whatever we're talking about, form. And that's the important thing with syncretism. That's how it's different. And assimilation it's different from because assimilation you're just losing all of the culture that you came with and you're adopting the one that you just came into. So a little bit of differences there. Another thing that we could see happen when a culture collides with a new culture is a cultural resistance could be built up. Cultural resistance is just the resistance of whatever new thing is coming in. It's people not wanting to integrate, not wanting to. In that first model I talked about, Barry's acculturation model, this would be separation or marginalization, where we're going to see a pushback. We are going to see people trying to get rid of this new culture or demonize it. This could happen because they don't understand it, they feel threatened that it's going to replace their own, or it could also happen because they think it is not right for society society and it's going to create some adverse effects that could hinder or hurt society. And so there's a variety of reasons why it happens. Sometimes it's prejudice or stereotypes, others it's based in facts. So cultural resistance is just important to understand as another possible outcome that could come from when our two cultures interact with each other. At the end of the day, countries that promote acculturation are going to be promoting multiculturalism. These are countries that are going to be promoting the diversity within. They are going to have aspects of a bunch of different cultures within one society. And they're not going to force assimilation where they're going to force people to join their culture and forget their old. Now, there's a lot of debate over which approach is best for society. A lot of people believe that assimilation is the way to go. If you want to come into a new country, you need to adapt and change to that country. And you need to start forgetting or losing some of your old cultural traits and start using the culture that you now live in. Other people say though that hurts economic development and it hurts diversity and new ideas and that creates just one big blob, one giant just homogenous state. On the other hand though some people say that adds more security. Some people say that acculturation is the way to go, that we need more diversity, that brings in new ideas and new innovation, new food and that promotes society's growth. On the other hand, people say that also could lead to more conflict and diversity and that could lead to more issues within society and make it harder to maintain. So what do you think? Which approach do you think would be the best? Should we be using acculturation? Should we be using assimilation? What would be best for the United States or the country that you live in? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you found value in this video, please again consider subscribing and liking the video and check out some of my other videos on the channel. I have a bunch for human geography, economics, sociology, and world history. I'm Mr. Sin. Thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time, I'll see you online.